What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tip for you. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to use the move tool in copy mode in order to create arrays in SketchUp. So let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so using the move tool to create copies in SketchUp is just one of the fundamental things that can save you a ton of time inside of the program. And so I kind of wanted to talk through how to do that, why it's important, other things like that. So. First off, when you create copies inside of SketchUp, a lot of people like to come in and do a control C and a control V for a copy and paste, right? I'm not a big fan of the copy and paste just because while it does let you kind of like place some things and things like that, it just isn't as precise as using a better tool. And so the better tool is going to be using the move tool. And so the move tool is a great tool for creating copies of objects really quickly. So the way that it works is you can either click on this icon with your object selected, or you can tap the M key in order to activate it. But then remember how with the move tool, you click to set a base point and then you click again in order to finalize your movement. But if you click and then tap the control key, what that's gonna do is that's gonna take you into copy mode. And so within copy mode, what that does is that allows you to basically come in here and um, click again in order to place a copy. So this is one of the fundamental things we talk about a lot in the SketchUp Essentials course, but what I wanna talk about here is how to use this for a couple different precision things. So the first thing I wanna talk about is how to make a copy at a set distance. So the way that you would do that is let's say that you had this object right here and you wanted to make a copy of it 24 inches this way, right? So what you would do is you would tap the M key to activate copy mode. You would click on this corner and then tap the control key in order to go into copy mode. And actually I'm gonna put this at 21 inches. But all we have to do is just move our mouse in the direction we wanna go and then type in a value of 21 and hit the enter key. And so when we do that, what that does is that creates a copy 21 inches from the original base point. So if we were to measure from here to here, that's gonna be 21 inches. And so then let's say we wanted to do this again, right? Well, instead of having to use the move tool, tap the control key and then type in a value and enter, what we could do instead is we can select our object and just use a different base point. So what I can do is I can tap the M key right here, and I can just set my base point all the way over here. So if I set my base point all the way over here, I'm setting a base point that's 21 inches away from my object. Well then, I can just tap the control key to go to copy mode, move my mouse right here, and click. And so when I click, notice what that's going to do is that's gonna place the second object right here. And so now what we wanna do is we wanna take a look at what would happen if we were to try to create multiple copies at once. So the way that's gonna work is I'm gonna start by positioning this board on the top. Actually, we'll do this one. So we're just gonna move this so that it's positioned right here. And actually, we're probably gonna want this point right here. And then we're just gonna use the rotate tool in order to rotate that 90 degrees. And so first off, let's go ahead and make sure that our lengths match. So I'm just gonna move this so that it aligns with my midpoint, move this so that it aligns with my endpoint. And so in this case, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use the move tool in copy mode in order to place this right here. And then we need to align this object so that it matches up right here. So we're just gonna move this. And for right now, we'll just put it right here. We'll drop it down like this. And let's say we want the spacing to be, we'll call it four inches off of this piece right here. And so what I wanna do is I wanna create some copies of this object, but I wanna create multiple different copies, right? And so there's two ways we could do this. First, we could use a multi multiplication array to do this. So what we would do is we would select this object, tap the M key, and then click on this corner, and then tap the control key like this. So then when we click, what that's gonna do is that's gonna place a copy of this object. Now I haven't clicked or touched anything else, right? This tool is still live. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna type in star, and in this case, that means times, and we're gonna type in three and hit the enter key. We'll notice how when we use three to hit the enter key, what that did is that created three equally spaced copies in here. 
this is still live. So as long as I don't click anywhere else, I can type in times four and hit the enter key as well. So you can see I can use this to create multiple different copies of an object. And this is live as long as I don't click on anything as many times as I want. So I could type in times 10 and hit the enter key. I could type in times five, times three. Notice how this is adjusting live as long as I don't click on anything. As soon as I click on anything, then if I type in times anything, nothing happens anymore. So that's one quick way to do this. But notice how our spacing is off in here, right? So we've got a gap right here. Well, what we can do is instead of doing this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a guide that's four inches off of this face. And then I'm going to use the move tool in copy mode again. So I'm going to tap control. I'm going to click. And then I'm going to click right here. But instead of hitting times, I'm going to hit the forward slash or the divided by key. And I'm going to type in a value. So I can type in a value of divided by four, divided by three, whoops, divided by two, whatever I want that to be. So I'm just hitting divided by and a number, then the inner key. And what that's doing is that's creating a number of equally spaced copies between these points. So that's a really easy way to create copies of objects inside of SketchUp. So then from there, we could select multiple different objects. So like these, for example, we could use the move tool in copy mode to create a copy right here. So notice how this allows us to really quickly create this object in SketchUp. All right, so I will link to another video in this quick tip series on this page. In addition, if you were interested in learning more about SketchUp, so you really want to get in depth with the program and really kind of take your skills to a level where you feel comfortable working in the software, I'd really encourage you to check out the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is my detailed step-by-step -step course where I've put together curriculum specifically to help you go from start to finish learning the program um, so that you don't get stuck. I've also added a community forum in there where you can communicate with other students in the course as well as ask me questions and we have live coaching calls where you can call in and get your questions answered live so if those are things that you're interested in and you really want to learn more about SketchUp make sure you check that out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course I really love teaching people how to use SketchUp and I'd love to see you there as always thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I will catch you in the next video thanks guys